Okay guys, we're going to go through the process real quick of downloading the JDK, the Java Development Kit, and getting our computer ready to run uh, an application for the first time from Command Prompt. So you guys have already done part of this. Uh, we're going to do the second half uh, today real quick. Go ahead and do a search for Java uh, JDK. And you guys have already done this part, so you don't have to follow along at, at this point. Uh, Java SE downloads. Okay, right now we're on the Java Standard Edition version 7 update number 1. So I'm going to click to download the JDK. screen's flickering too, you see that? <coughs> Once that's loaded, I'm on a Windows box, a 32-bit processor, so scroll down and it's uh, almost an 80 meg download. I'll click on this link right here. It reminds me to accept the license agreement, which is right here. And save it to your downloads. Okay, this is going to take a minute. I'll be right back when it's done. Okay, our JDK finished downloading. Go ahead and click on it to open it. Click on run. And step through the wizard. All the default settings are fine. Take notice where it's installing it. Mine's going to install it to the C drive, program files, Java, JDK. That path is very important to know as we're going forward. We fast forward that, right, too? And there's no voice in there when you fast forward it? You can remove the voice. You can remove the voice. Because it'll sound like a chipmunk, but you can just clip out the voice part. Gotcha. The first time you use video editing software. This one, yeah. Oracle market is bigger than the SQ and then the Microsoft server market. They have about 60% of the database market. Okay, go ahead and click on finish. And we can take a look at where we installed our program files, Java. Here I've got a couple different versions. The one we just installed was the JDK 1.7. I had the 1.6 from before. And the tools that we're going to be using are in the bin folder. And the tool, tools we're interested in are the Java JVM, that is our Java virtual machine. And we also have our Java compiler, also called Java C.exe. Um, so we have to be able to run these tools from the command prompt. So if I go into the command prompt, CMD, hit enter, and I type in Java C for the compiler. Notice the command prompt tells me Java C is not recognized. Uh, so we need to get Java C recognized um, in the command prompt. The way we do that, from those of you who maybe know your old uh, DOS commands, is with the path command. And if you just type in path, you see the current path. Uh, essentially, the path is where 
the command prompts looks for commands. So you see a bunch of different directories in here, and if you type in a command at the command prompt, the command prompt looks in all of these directories for that command. If it's not found, it'll tell you unrecognized command. Well, we could set the path equal to something in here, but the problem is, as soon as we close the command prompt and open another command prompt, and we type in path, that path will not be reflected in the new command prompt. So we have to change it so that the path is permanently changed in all the command prompts that we open. The way that we're going to do that, if I close out of everything here, go to Start, right-click Computer, go to Properties. Click on Advanced System Settings. Click on Environment Variables. If you scroll down a little bit, you see the path under Environment Variables. You'll click Edit. Important thing here, you do not want to delete anything in here. Matter of fact, what I do is I go to the keyboard and I press End. So I go to the very end and my cursor, you'll notice, is right here at the very end of my path. Now the easiest way to do this is to open up your Windows Explorer, click inside of the uh, navigation window, right click this directory and click copy. We're not going to type anything here, that just leaves room for error. Minimize this, go back into your environment variables. Now to append a directory to the path you have to put a semicolon. So type a semicolon and then press Control V to paste in the path. Right now, for good measure, we also need to append a backslash to the bin directory so they know that is a directory, that's not a file. Then you click on OK. Click on OK. OK. You can close this window. Make sure you close any open command prompt because the new path will not be available to you in the current command prompt unless you close it. CMD, Charlie Michael David. Now if we type in the keyword path, we see our C, uh, C drive program files, Java, JDK, bin folder is listed. And if we type in Java C, it is now a recognized command. That's the most tricky part 